Hello everyone, my name is ClickFlow, and welcome to this brand new series that I've decided to start called The Minecraft Bedrock Thrive Guide, where I'll be showing you guys not only how to survive, but also to thrive in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. I started getting into Minecraft a little over a year ago, um, and I found very little content in uh, Minecraft Bedrock Edition, at least the way that I wanted to play it, so I thought that I could add a little bit, a little bit to the Minecraft community on uh, providing some content and some information, technical and non-technical alike, in my in Minecraft: The Bedrock Edition. I thought this would be a great time to start since uh, it's been a little over a month now since the nether update has dropped. As you can see, we're playing in 1.16.1. Uh, that's our current version. And I guess without further ado, let's get into it. So you, so this is the Minecraft home screen that uh, that you'll see as you, as you first uh, enter the enter the application um, and there's a few options we have here we have of course our little uh, avatar here um, and you can edit your profile that way you have the play button the settings button and your marketplace we're going to go into the play button we're going to click that and this is going to bring us into a uh, a worlds and uh, other options of how to play the game so we're uh, so we're not going to play any of these worlds. These are some of the, the the worlds that I have been playing on previously. Personally, we're going to go to this Create New tab. We're going to click that, and then it's going to ask us that if 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 we want to create a realm or uh, or any templates. But we're not going to mess with any of those. We're just going to create new world. All right, and so. There's a bunch of options on and settings on how you want to play the world. Um, we're going to uh, name this world the Thrive Guide, and we're gonna call it that. We're, uh, we're in the game mode. There's survival and creative. We're of course going to be uh, playing in survival mode, um, and we're going to do a strictly survival world and not uh, enter into any creative or cheats or anything like that. We're going to set the difficulty to hard. Um, we're not going to mess with any of the starting map or bonus chest. The world type is uh, flat, old, or infinite. And we're going to keep it as infinite. This just means that the random seed that it will generate will, uh, will provide us with an infinite world. or semi-infinite at least as far as we're ever going to be able to travel this in the seed bar we're going to leave it blank which will generate a random seed of course after this video is posted i will provide the seed in the uh, in the in the description so if you would if you want to play along you can copy the uh this the seed of the thrive guide world into your seed bar and it will generate the exact same world we're going to keep the simulation distance at 10 chunks. Um, uh, show coordinates, I'm going to turn on. Uh, this, is, this is my preferred method of navigation. Uh, you, you can use other tools, but I, uh, I like to use coordinates. Fire spreads, I'm going to turn that off. And the reason for that is mainly because I like to build with fire and lava and, th and, th and things like that, and I don't fancy my world burning down. And my, uh, my, my, I don't fancy my builds burning down. So, uh, so we're gonna turn fire spreads off. But if you'd like, you can play with it on as well. Uh, it, it, will, it will only affect uh, the gameplay minorly. And, we're, and here in the cheats, we are not going to activate cheats. We're going to leave those off. And I think that is it. So without further ado, let's create our world. All right, here we are starting in our world. As you can see, the sun is rising in the east. And look, if we, if we look around, 
looks like we're on the shore on a beach and here's our spawn location this is going to be an important spot right right there uh, because if we ever die in this world which I I don't plan on doing anything like that but if we ever do the, uh, if we if we don't res uh, reset our spawn point this will be the location to which we will uh, we will come back to we will respond to so it looks like if we navigate around we have just a little island, a little clearing. How interesting. Looks looks like off in the distance there's another island that has some trees and that's going to be vital in our first part of the progression of Minecraft. And so while the day is still young, I think we're going to go run off over to that little island and collect us uh, some trees, some wood. Alrighty, looks like we finally made it over to this here island. And of course, when uh, to get wood in Minecraft, you just left click to start punching the block. And there we go, we got our first wood block. How exciting! And we're gonna keep clearing down this tree until we can get all of the wood from it. And hopefully, this uh, this tree, once it's all cut down, will 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 drop us some saplings so we can replant them into our our own island. Oh look at that, we got our first oak sapling which is fantastic. Because we started with this particular seed in an island, um, it's going to be vital for us to keep replanting our trees so that we can have a renewable uh, stock of wood. So I'm just going to keep clearing out this tree. Seeing if we can get any more saplings from this. Nope, looks like just the two. But that's okay. That's that's gonna do it for now. I think we can, if we want, we can replant this tree right there, and then we can take the liberty of taking out another one of these trees. Using the same method, of course, we're just gonna be punching the wood. Looks like we got another sapling. And occasionally when you're punching down these leaves, it will drop sticks rather than saplings. And of course that's going to be also helpful, especially in the early game. Oh, and look at that. We just got an apple from the tree. That is fantastic because uh, as you can see on the HUD bar, uh, there's another stick right there. On the, on the HUD bar, as you can see, we have our help, which is represented in those hearts. And then also our hunger, which is represented in those little food shanks, those little shanks of meat. Um, of course, as we as we do activities, as we as we mine and as we uh, run around and, and interact in the world, we're going to deplete that hunger bar, and we're going to need to fill that up as we, as we go along. So now that we've got some uh, some wood. I'm going to quickly check where the sun is at. We're going to go back over to our little island, and I think with this last sapling, we're going to replant our uh, this, this sapling. We're going to plant a tree on our little island over here. Alrighty, here we are back at the island, and I think I'm going to place that right there. Perfect. So now our next thing that we're going to want to do is if you press the E button uh, on the on the Windows 10 edition anyway, if you press E, that will open up our inventory. And, and as you can see, there are a number of uh, slots. This is our inventory here, and this is our hot bar. Um, this right here ha has some options for wearing some armor, uh, wearing a shield or, or something like that. And then there's this 2x2 two two crafting interface, and that's what we're going to use right now. If I put one oak log in there, that will give us some oak wood planks. And then if we put uh, um, those four oak logs like this in a square, that will provide us with a crafting table. Now, if we, uh, if we come out of the inventory, we can place that down. And now when we activate it, we have a 3x3 crafting interface, which is, of course, going to provide us with a lot more... Um, uh, options for crafting and building. And I'm going to convert a few of those into oak planks and then a few more into some sticks. And then we're going to make our first tools. So the first tool we're probably going to want to make 
is a pickaxe, and that's made just like that, putting the three oak, oak planks across the top. We're going to put that right there. And then uh, our second thing that we're going to make is I'm going to make something to defend myself, because if you've played Minecraft before, you might know that when the sun goes down, things do not get hotter. Things get quite uh, dicey, and it's possible that uh, uh, hostile mobs or monsters can spawn and try to murder us, basically. So I'm going to have something to defend myself against them. But in the meantime, I'm going to convert the rest of these oak, uh, uh, oak logs into uh, some wooden planks, and I'm going to throw together a little basic shelter. Oh, and we got some seeds from punching that grass. That's going to be good when we start uh, uh, putting together some um, some 75 years later farming when we yeah that's the word sorry it kind of escaped me and you see here I'm just kind of putting together a simple little shelter uh, that that can hide us from the baddies at night. Oops, I ran out. That's awkward. Looks like we're back off to that other little island. Hopefully while we're swimming, one of these dolphins, yeah, you can see right there, as the dolphin comes over, we get an effect called Dolphin's Grace. Oh no! This poor little buddy got washed up on the shore. Let's go help him out and put him back in the water. There you go. You're welcome. Don't mention it. Okay, now we're going to go and harvest this other tree here. Another thing we could have built while, uh, made while we were over by our crafting table is a wooden axe, but I think I'm going to wait until we have a bit better hardware to build something like that. I think I'm going to wait till we have some stone on us so that we can make a stone axe and hopefully acquire some better hardware. Of course this also gives us the opportunity to punch some more of these leaves and hopefully get some more saplings for our sad little barren island. There is one of those beautiful little saplings right there. We got two of them looks like. Perfect. Well I'm going to... oh we got three. Perfect, perfect. I'm going to make my escape because it looks like nightfall is going to be upon us shortly and I don't want to be around when the monsters start showing up. Perfect. And as the night falls, I'm going to make me a little shelter by just closing myself off in here. And then if I can make it, I'm going to punch my crafting table and take that. Oops, that's probably not the best thing to happen. Now one of the last things I want to have before... Uh, Hearing things before we go in for the night is a door. And I'm going to place that right there. That will keep us at least semi safe from the baddies at night. Now, on your first night in Minecraft, you're probably going to be, uh, like I am, a little afraid of these monsters that are going to be spawning. And you're going to want to hide it out in your shelter. But that doesn't mean that you just have to sit and wait all night long until until day uh, until until daytime comes. If we want, um, we can start digging a little trench down. And if we get down further, you can see right there that is what we're after here. And that's why we crafted this wooden pickaxe so we can start gathering ourselves some cobblestone. Perfect. Of course, you're gonna know. Uh, you're gonna notice soon, uh, sooner rather than later, that the right tool is going to be necessary for the job. Um, you're, you're not gonna want to be breaking dirt with a pickaxe because you know that just doesn't make sense. You're gonna be wanting to break um, a stone with pickaxe, and we're gonna want to break dirt with a shovel. And with this much cobblestone, I'm going to run back up here and make us a furnace. So a furnace is made in the crafting interface by making this donut looking shape, just like that. 
and that is going to be essential for us to cook some food as well as making some charcoal which goodness me I didn't leave myself any more wooden logs so that's going to be potentially problematic uh, uh, to make charcoal you can burn a wooden log up in this interface while putting some wood uh, wood planks or some sticks or whatever you wanted to burn uh, in, in here and that, and that will provide us with some charcoal which then we could combine with some sticks to make some torches but since we don't have that we're gonna have to be extra careful um, and watching our backs listening for any monsters trying to sneak up on us and we're gonna continue to dig down here to try and find us some coal if we're lucky because coal can be used as a substitute for charcoal in making torches and with that i think we're going to go back up because i don't want to break this pickaxe quite yet i kind of want to keep it as a keepsake as like a uh maybe i'm i, I could be called a hoarder if you might but i kind of want to keep it in case uh we want to uh make like a museum or something like that where we can place all of the things that were uh, sentimental to us in this world and I think our first wooden pickaxe would fit that category well. So I'm going to take that out of my uh, hot bar and I'm going to enter back into the crafting interface and now that we have some cobblestone we can make the same item except with stone. Oops, that's awkward. Uh, so we have a stone pickaxe and I think now we can have the liberty of creating ourselves a stone sword to replace our wooden one. And I think I'm going to make as well uh, a wooden axe, which is made just like that. And I'm going to keep the food on my hot bar as well, maybe put the gravel up there. And uh, now it's still night time, so let's go back down now with our wooden pickaxe and hope that we can find ourselves some more coal. Oh, looks like we found ourselves our first little something. It wasn't coal, but it's still good nonetheless. It's iron. Iron is going to be uh, useful in our progression, uh, in the next part of the progression, from stone to iron. And we can collect that and look around. Doesn't look like there's any more iron, so we will continue on our merry way mining. And it looks like it is daytime, and thank goodness, I'm going to actually put a block over there so it doesn't look so horrible. Um, and unfortunately, none of our trees has grown yet, so as the sun is rising, I think I'm going to go swim back over to that island, and I think we can put our new stone, sh stone axe to the, to the test. Oh, looks like in over there, there is some sugar cane. I am going to snag that really quick because this plant right there will be super useful for us in the near future. Oh, as well as what spawned right there, a couple of sheep. Or just one sheep. This, oh, yep, these two sheep are going to be very useful for us. Uh, in the in the early game especially and we're not going to corral them and I'm sorry for all those um, non-violence animal lovers out there but we are going to have to sacrifice these guys for their wool I'm sorry sheepies but now we have two wool and now we're only one more wool away from creating our our first bed and with our first bed we can skip through the night and that way we won't have to worry about the baddies. Alrighty, back at our little island base. Still looks like none of our trees have grown, but I'm going to nevertheless place some of these trees around here. Maybe some around the back of the house. Maybe one next to our house there. Or I, I call it a house, but it's more like a shack. But it is shelter nonetheless. And I'm not going to make the same mistake as I did last night. And I am going to uh, smelt me up a couple of, of charcoal pieces so that we can have some light. Oh man, it's going to be nice to have some light. And with that piece of charcoal, if we enter our 2x2 interface, we can put one charcoal like that 
and one stick like that, and that'll provide us with four torches. And oh, does it feel good to have some light, finally! So I'm actually going to go down and place uh, some torches down in our little mine shaft so that uh, we don't have any baddies spawning when we are away. That would be very unfortunate for us if we were coming down to our little mine shaft and get blown up by a creeper or attacked by a zombie. And we will see each of those in time, in the fullness of time. Um, and I think it would be safe to smelt up this here wooden sword to get our last piece of charcoal. Because, of course, we're not going to need that anymore since we have this stone sword. But I'm going to come down here and continue, I should say finish, lighting up the, our little mine shaft. It looks like we are starting to get hungry from all of this jumping, so I am going to bite the bullet and eat that uh, that apple. But as we get that cooking, let's check around here, see if anything has uh, any of the trees have grown. And it looks like those cows unfortunately have despawned. That is a mechanic that has uh, been freshly added to the Minecraft Bedrock Edition which is now uh, similar to that of the Bedrock uh, of Minecraft Java Edition in that if you get a certain distance away from any uh, creatures, any uh, anything that has an AI then they will have a chance to despawn and if you get even a further distance away then it will be a 100% a, a chance that they will all despawn. So it doesn't look like we have any more um, trees growing yet and that's unfortunate but I'm gonna take this mutton that we got out of our crafting table. Ooh, I might as well before the sun sets plant the sugarcane so that we can get them to grow. And the sugarcane does need a block next to water so that they can be hydrated and that they can grow. So that's going to be essential in the future. Oh, looks, look at that. Look at that. Just before our second night, one of our very own saplings has grown into a full tree. So I'm going to hurry over, collect this, and then see if we can get some more saplings to be planted. And as the sun is setting again, and since unfortunately we haven't found another sheep to get that last piece of wool, I think we're going to go back into our mines now with our, uh, our torches, at least our single torch that I have here in my hand, and we're going to do a little bit more mining and uh, prepare ourselves for the next day. And as it starts to get darker, as we get further and further away from that torch, that lonely torch over there, I'm going to place my second torch, but I'm also going to relay to you uh, some friendly advice. A lot of the times, people find themselves getting lost in their elaborate mine shafts and, and corridors that they make as they, as they go along. Um, so a helpful tip that I have been given is that is, uh, if you place your torches on one side of the wall, then you can follow the torches back to your main, uh, your, your exit out of the mine. Personally, I always put my torches on the left side of the wall so that when I'm turned around and I'm coming back, I just follow the right side. Uh, I just follow the, the ways that have the torches on the right side of the wall, and that will lead me right back to where I, am, I, I will, my exit. So that way I never get lost. Oh my goodness, I don't believe it. Just within our first few minutes of starting the, the Thrive Guide world, we found ourselves some diamond ore. That is incredible as well. Oh my goodness, wow! We found some redstone as well. Oh my goodness, this is so good for us. I can't mine that quite yet because if I were to tr try and put my pickaxe to that, both of these would just break and uh, and they wouldn't drop anything because I've only got myself, I've only equipped with a uh, with a stone stone pickaxe. So I'm going to need to upgrade to some iron tools before we go into that. Now I'm not going to dig too much further because I've run out of torches and so if I go too far and the light level gets too low, 
I'm actually going to even block this off because that looks pretty dark to me. If the light level gets too low and things decide to spawn in here, we are going to possibly be having a creeper spawn down here and blow up our now our newly found precious diamond ore. So I'm going to leave for right now and uh, see if that iron that we had found previously is finished smelting so that we can get ourselves our first pieces of diamond. Our first thing that I'm going to make right here is the same crafting recipe as a stone pickaxe except instead we're using uh, iron on the top instead of cobblestone we're going to make ourselves an iron pickaxe and I think we're going to use that to go get ourselves um, that those blocks of diamond oh I'm so excited for that I know. you know I know I got it I got the concept and so I'm going to put my uh, brand new pickaxe to the test to, to, to good use and I'm going to grab this uh, this diamond of course it is also a, ve a very good idea when you're first getting your first pieces of diamond that uh, you dig around the diamonds or your precious ore whatever you're uh, you're currently mining so that you can make sure that when it drops it will not fall into lava that is a common mistake that a lot of people make that when they see the ore, they just get excited and go straight to uh, straight to mining it out. But at this level low down in the world, it's very uh, it's very likely that we will run into some lava patches. And just before we dig this, I'm going to throw down a torch right there at the end of the hall, like that, in line with the other one. And we're going to check underneath these pieces of diamond. And once you've exposed this, you don't have to like dig all the way underneath it because you can see that this block underneath it is, is not lava and we've exposed all of those blocks underneath it. Oh, and look at that. We've even found ourselves some more iron. We are on a roll today, guys. I am excited. Oh my goodness. Alrighty, so make sure we have our iron pickaxe. I'm even going to take this out of my hot bar just, just so it doesn't tempt me. And we're going to gather ourselves the rest of these diamonds. And look at that! We have our first ever diamonds. Oh my goodness. Look at that, guys. Oh man. We got diamonds our very first day of, of the Thrive Guide world. How exciting. But we're not done there, of course. We have four more diamonds that we need to mine with this. Oh, and that is so exciting. But of course, I'm not going to leave this redstone out. I'm going to take those as well. We just found another patch of diamonds. What? What? That is unreal! This does not usually happen in my playthroughs of the game. So, maybe it's just because I'm with you guys. You guys are my good luck charm. I think that is going to do it for today's first episode of the Minecraft Thrive Guide. Thank you guys so much for watching and for participating and just for for being you. I'm, I'm really excited for this series and I hope that you guys are too. I think that'll do it for today's episode, this first episode of the Bedrock Thrive Guide. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you, uh, if you did, please don't forget to, to smash that like button and to subscribe if you want to see more content. Uh, and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye for now.